Hello and welcome back. <clears throat> gonna do a little bit more work on the TDI today. Gonna pull out the little chambers, I guess, on the BEW head can, for the uh, swirl flaps. Uh, and potentially start cleaning up the BRM intake manifold I got. BEW in the little side, <clears throat> there's a flap controlled by this. There's a little actuator if you still have them. Uh, it's just for emissions. So the flaps are long gone. And I'm replacing the intake manifold with, with this BRM intake manifold. I know a lot of guys like the PD-150, but BRM is more readily available. And uh, somebody has done some flow testing and actually found that the BRM intake manifold flows better i'll try and post the link in the description if anybody wants to see the results of the flow test um, of course i need to clean this intake it uh, before i install it pretty gummed up inside all right i'm going to try and show you the intake flaps it's going to be kind of hard to see but i'm going to do my best so you can see the little chamber on the intake ports there. Um, from what I've seen, uh, grab with a pair of needle nose and kind of wiggle them out. They're just in little slots. Yeah. Little chamber divider things removed. It's still pretty dirty in there. I'm gonna try and wipe it out. I know some of it's gonna go in the engine, but I'm gonna just risk it and hope it's fine. Here are the pieces I found grabbing with a pair of needle nose and wrap it, twisting them around the needle nose to help get some grip. What is the way to get them out? Um, it's actually these little slots that hold. So if you grab and twist, you get it out of the one slot and out they come. Uh, yeah. So that's them there, all pulled out. All right, so for cleaning the intake, I'm just gonna burn it out and then scrape it out. We'll see how that goes. Here we are, after it's done burning and it won't ignite anymore, then it's all dried out <clears throat> and you can come and hit it. Screwdriver, give it a light scrape. And that's about it. Um, you got the bulk of it out. If you want to get it cleaner, a little bit of degreaser, and you should be able to wash it out. Uh, that's next step. I don't think I'm gonna film that because it's spraying it with the greaser and a hose, so it's kind of silly, but a fair amount of stuff came out of there even after burning it. All right, here's the end result. She's still black, but there's no 
thick buildup on it anymore. I'm not worried about the color of the inside of the intake. Quick little comparison. <clears throat> so it's basically the same setup. It's just a little bit shorter here versus there, it's cut back. Um, and then, so you don't need the block off plates and stuff, just a little cleaner looking. Okay, that concludes it for today. Uh, <clears throat> again, please subscribe, leave a comment, give me a like, help the channel grow. And uh, we'll be back next time with probably building a new race pipe for this intake manifold. Until then, cheers.